Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, temperatures topping out in the lower 90s this afternoon and close to 90 by tomorrow afternoon as well. So we're not talking record breaking or extreme heat, but hot nonetheless. Now, as far as the definition for a heat wave, we've had one already just recently. You need three or more consecutive days of 90 or higher, and we had 92 today, more than likely 90 for tomorrow. Now, not all locations will meet a uh, heat wave criteria, so not all locations will hit 90 tomorrow. But notice inland spots today in the lower 90s and mid 80s along the uh, south shore. Similar setup for tomorrow around 90 inland. You get closer to the coastline. It's more like 85, 86 degrees, so we're calling it very warm to borderline hot. So around 90 away from the shoreline right through at least a Thursday afternoon. So the air conditioner, the fans running uh, overtime, typical, you know, midsummer weather. You see showers on Doppler radar are very weak and light. Nothing really significant here from roughly uh, Narragansett, Newport, along the south shore, getting ready to head towards um, Falmouth and the vineyard right now. They continue to weaken with time and drift off to the east and southeast. So the remainder of the night really not anticipating much in the way of precipitation. Showers just ending or still a few lingering ones in Newport right now. Humidity is high, so near the ocean overnight, there may be a little fog. Temperatures are well into the 70s. It'll stay in the 70s all night long, right on through early. Uh, tomorrow morning. Taking a look at the wider view of the Doppler radar, boy, New York City, which is pounded with very heavy thunderstorms, frequent lightning. In fact, I saw a picture on social media of the Empire State Building being struck by lightning earlier this evening. Those storms are now offshore, continue to pull away. Behind that, the skies are clearing out, so that'll be the trend overnight. So when we wake up tomorrow morning, we're back to sunshine. Rule of thumb, high dew points mean high humidity. And anytime you get dew points in the lower 70s, it's pretty muggy, it's sticky. So you'll see that, uh, you'll feel that sensation again for tomorrow. And really across the entire Northeast Corridor from Boston down through Philadelphia, where it was almost 100 today, 97, we have the hot uh, temperatures that will continue across the Northeast Corridor tomorrow. We're not getting to 97, but we'll get close to 90 tomorrow afternoon. Take a look at future cast starting off this evening and overnight. What's left of those showers near the South Shore continue to pull away. Temperatures dropping to the lower 70s. You see little hints of patchy fog near the coastline. Uh, this is 6 o'clock in the morning. The hour Arrows represent the wind direction, essentially uh, increasing sunshine here. And notice the rapid warm-up. So by the afternoon hours, 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, mid-afternoon, upper 80s to around 90 inland and low to middle 80s across the south shore. The beaches will be warm, just the hottest weather will be found inland. Plenty of sunshine by 9 o'clock tomorrow evening. We're still close to 80. So your future cast tomorrow morning, it is a rapid warm-up through the 80s. The one thing you'll notice, especially during the afternoon, the humidity, the moisture level, well, not quite as high, so even though it's hot, it's not quite as muggy. Temperatures topping out again at around 90 during the afternoon hours and about 85, 86 degrees if you're heading to the beach. In fact, let's take a look at first the bay forecast for tomorrow on a west breeze at around 5 to 15 knots. Visibility not bad. Waves a small water temperature now coming in at around 71, 72 degrees. Beaches look good. Sunshine, warm temperature all the way up to 85, 86 with a low risk of rip current. Seven day future cast each afternoon inland away from the ocean Wednesday and Thursday, getting close to 90 nighttime temperatures in the 70s. Next chance for any scattered showers or thunderstorms would come on Friday. Not as hot, but still humid. Some embedded thunderstorms as well at 85 chance of a shower on Saturday. I don't think we're looking at a washout here, just kind of summertime showers, some sunshine as well. 82. In fact, notice temperatures over the weekend more seasonable where we should be for this time of year around 82, 83. So not quite as hot nighttime temperatures in the 70s, but heat wave number two more than likely away from the coastline this week. All right, Tony, thanks covering American